Okay, now that router one's now come up, let's start with some configuration on here. Uh, show interfaces. Okay, let's jump into configuration mode. Let's then delete DHCP server. And let's also now do some relabeling. So set interface eth. Uh, let's say eth zero. Let's set the description to be um, remote access LAN and let's say this to be server network and that is on ETH2. We need to set the outside interface which is ETH1 we need to set that to 213123 uh, 10 or 100 slash 24 let's commit that now can we ping 213123 10.200 okay let's check the connections so run show interfaces so that's how we think it's set up. Oh, and I can see the problem. What I've done is I've given it the IP address to ETH1 when it should be in fact on ETH0. So let's delete that from there. And it should be ETH0 and let's change the description as well which is wrong description should be outside and ETH1 should in fact be remote access LAN. okay let's commit that so the error there is saying that it can't configure a static and a DHCP on the same interface. It's because ETH0 currently has address DHCP, so we can delete that as well. Let's run a show interfaces now. It's looking a little bit more sensible. We can now ping there. Can we ping the internet? because we haven't got a say after me default route so protocols static it's a static route to here with the next hop being 213-123-10-200 commit that now can we ping and we can let's do a round of saves actually that's always a good idea Okay, so that's what we currently have. Um, the remote access LAN has got the wrong um, IP address information on it, so we need to set that up. Um, so let's delete its current IP address, uh, ETH1. We're going to set it up with an IP address of 10.0.1.1.24. Okay, let's um, boot up the server one now. Server network currently hasn't got one, but from our diagram, in fact, from our diagram, the 
remote access network should have an IP address like that and the server network should have an IP address like that it's because I didn't delete the one on ETH1 okay let's see what we've got So ETH2 hasn't been set up yet. So ETH2 needs to have that address. Commit that. Now run your interfaces. Okay, let's compare that to our diagram. So outside we've got an IP address of 213.123.10.100. Yep. On remote access network 10.0.0.1, yep. Uh, on our server network, we've got 10.0.1.1. That's also right. Okay, let's see how this is doing. And can I remember the password for this? Okay, try again. Now, while that's loading in, actually got in rather quicker than I expected. Let's load up this. Okay, we don't really want file sharing, so we can untick those. Now, if I can give my machine an IP address like that. Um, then it will be that, that, and okay, so. <clears throat> Uh, can this guy ping the interface on the other side? And it can. Good. Okay, so we now got our server up. So I'm, we're pretty much now ready to do what we actually came here for, which is the configuration of Yata. So we've done this bit. We've done this bit. We've now done this bit. We've brought a network up here. Now we need to do configuration of the VPN on here, which hopefully should be the the uh, the easy bit. Okay, now which bit should we do first? Let's do. Um, let's jump into configuration, which we're already in. So set VPN IPsec. We first of all we're going to set the ESP group. You then give it a name, ESP one W. Okay, so on proposal. Uh, proposal one, we're going to be encryption. Let's do triple des, um, and then a hash of SHA one, and let's do a, do a second proposal of AES one two eight, and then again a hash of SHA one. Okay, let's do another group. That's ESP. Uh, now we're doing an IKE group. We'll call this one uh, W proposal one. Again, pretty much exactly the same. Encryption triple des hash one. Do a second one with an encryption of AES one two eight and a hash of shar one. We now need to specify the external interface which this is going to be on, um, which we do like this. So this will be the interface that you're currently getting a public IP on. So I think we do IPsec interface, 
IP sec IP sec interface and this is going to be ETH0 for me because if I do this you can see that ETH0 has currently got is our outside interface that's got our public interface on okay the next bit now I'm going to set the um, NAT networks now these are networks that are the other end so for example see here and see here what you can essentially turn around and say is I don't if somebody over here has a network range of 10.0.0.0.1 I don't want them to be able to come in and that's what this bit's for what you can say is you can essentially say okay well the allowed networks and here you'll notice I put everything now that has a danger and the danger is you're going to get somebody coming in with the same network that you're essentially trying to put them into so what you can then do if you wanted to you could do exclude but we won't do that here um, actually why not let's put in 10 to 0 slash 16 exclude 10 to 0 slash 16 next thing we want to do is we want to enable NAT traversal it's all the IPsec stuff let's move on to the L2TP stuff uh, I think that's it anyway